Hi guys, my name is Chetanya. Today we are going to learn how apples are turning into brown color whenever we cut it and expose to air. There is basically an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase which is present in each and every cell of a plant. It is responsible for the uh, coloration of the apple, brown coloration of an apple. This enzyme is a tetramer which has four amino acid chains and a copper atom as a cofactor. This enzyme has three active binding sites. One is for oxygen atom, two is for aromatic rings. Whenever we cut an apple exposed to air, the oxygen is coming and binding to the active site of polyphenol oxidase. And two aromatic rings, you might ask what, what, which, which aromatic uh, component is going to bind in it. It's a phenol. Basically this enzyme converts monophenol to diphenol through a process called hydroxylation. The phenol, uh, you might wonder where does this phenol come from for this enzyme. In our cells, a tyrosine uh, amino acid is present. This tyrosine has a phenolic group. These two molecules, two such tyrosines, is coming and binding to the active sites of polyphenol oxidase along with the oxygen. So, when these three are binded to the polyphenol oxidase, the reaction is going to move to the further and produce a product called DOPA. DOPA has two hydroxy groups. As I said earlier, two diphenol. So, tyrosine has only one hydroxy group. This DOPA has two hydroxy groups. DOPA which uh, exhibit keto enol tautomerism and form dopoquinone. Dopoquinone is getting oxidized to form dopochrome. Dopochrome which is further getting oxidized to form a leukocompound. Leukocompound which is further getting oxidized to form indole and then melanin. Melanin which is present in our cells, in our human cells, is, a, uh, is the same as the melanin which is present in the apple cells which is responsible for the coloration, wrong coloration of apple. So, to this reaction, I want to add one more interesting point from DOPA, which is the second product, which I said that tyrosine is getting converted to DOPA. There is another subcycle in our human cells itself, it is producing an interesting uh, compound called dopamine. Dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter. DOPA is converting into endopa, endopa is converting into dopamine. This is a side, side reaction, which is happening in our cells. It is producing dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter. So, let's uh, Let's keep it aside. Let's look into the melanin. So, this melanin uh, is responsible for brown coloration. How can we stop this brown coloration? We, we, you might have seen many videos uh, a person applying a lemon juice on an apple uh, which is not turning into a brown color. So, what's really happening here? Whenever we are adding a lemon juice on an apple, with a cut apple, what happens is this lemon juice has of citric acid whose pH is 2 to 4. This polyphenol oxidase enzyme uh, should, be, uh, should have minimum 5 to 6 pH. To work. So, this 2 to 4 pH uh, is denaturating this uh, enzyme, polyphenol oxidase, which is restricting this whole cycle to take place and stopping the production of melanin. And further, uh, to say what are the applications of this enzyme? Polyphenol oxidase, uh, a Can Canadian university has done uh, uh, intense research on the genes of polyphenol oxidase and successfully suppressed it and produced 13 types of uh, apples called Arctic apples. Uh, in which polyphenol oxidase gene is being suppressed. So whenever we cut an Arctic apple exposed to air, it doesn't turn into the brown color. It is available in the US markets commercially. And what are the further applications? Wine coloration and coffee and tea colorations, which we look are due to the production of uh, due to the, this enzyme, polyphenol oxidase itself. So these are the wide applications of, uh, of polyphenol oxidase.